Welcome back, players and trainers. And nope, not like that. Hold up. Welcome back, players and trainers. It's your boy, the Blazing Squid, coming to you live with another battle. Another. It's week one. We're to... Okay, we're doing Sostin's newest battle, which is. What's Sostin's battle? It's something. Something good. Um, but yeah. As you will see here, Zygar can't even talk, can't touch Tapu Budo. I need to get rid of Tapu Budo as soon as possible. That Tapu Budo has to be scuffed. My best lead right now is Scizor. Scizor is my best lead. Would he get rocks up? He already picked up his mons. Good part about this is he does not know my Scizor is not Scarf. He has Hagron. Agron is stinking the beast. I know he has to have a rock type. So Agron's gonna be 30. We can hit it with a superpower or a U-turn to then break this 30. Oh no, it's a rock type and steel. So it's times four. It's gonna resist, but we can hit it with an earthquake afterwards. Or well, you can predict that as well. But I do think I, I thought originally Scizor is my lead. We can uh, we just U-turn out of there turn one depending on what he starts with if he starts out with top of Bulu uh, he outspeeds if it's jolly we can go for the iron head and if it leads with salamance we'll outspeed we can just go for uh, iron head as well super effective we, we'll just see what happens here it's gonna it's gonna suck because 30 on on aggron is really good he's gonna start off with the aggron actually shredder shredder what does aggron do to me Shut up, Isaac. <laughs> uh, it does. It could do something. It could probably hit me with earthquake. Let's bring up the damage count. <sighs> Aggro. Shut up. I am today. Today we're running count. <sighs> Scissor. I do think the superpower is the move to go for here though. Superpower just to bring it down to sturdy. Oh, it can always go for the knockoff. How much does knockoff do? Just 25%. Superpower is the right play. Yo. Even though it's gonna have 30. He came in with a head smash, which would knock me out. That's about it. If he goes through superpower, I think I get my defense drop. And I'm done. I'm donezo funzo. I can always U-turn out. But if he has leftovers, that is very I have 14 minutes. I can't run these. We'll go for the superpower right off the first turn. If he switches out. He is gonna go for the stay in. Here comes that sturdy. Yup, sturdy. Okay, so if he goes for rocks here, I'm gonna save Scizor and switch out actually. He's gonna release a Z move. Wow, I knew I should have U turned. No, I, I could have U turned into Zygarde? Probably. You don't gotta get wrecked. Shut up. <laughs> Great prep by Arthur. Great prep. That Rocky on Z was for sure taking me out. Especially from... Uh, I went for a uh, superpower. It's, it's actually better than me you turning out into actually. Um, but I'm going to just switch into thing here. And start bouncing. Because... I could D dance. How much does waterfall do to Tabu Buddha? Why not Tabu? It's sad everything on this team will resist my waterfall. I think I'm gonna just bounce. I 
What am I talking about? I'm not sure it's Stark. How much does Head Smash do? Head Smash to Gators. Head Smash kills. Like for sure. So we, we know how speed. We got speed. You just go for the waterfall, right? Yeah. Waterfall. Yeah, we'll just go for the waterfall. It's gonna sag it. Oh no. I could've got the DN, it's okay. Take it to end the he probably wants me to switch out right here. I'm just gonna go straight for the dragon dance. If we can get to plus one and just bounce, well, he's gonna three dance as well. He withdrew. He withdrew. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Arthur. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Come on. How much investment am I running on this thing? Here it is. Hold up. One thirty-four. I think I speed tie top of Buddha, or I'm slower. I either speed tie or I'm slower. I think he outspeeds me. If he's jolly, he outspeeds me by stinking four points. Here comes hope of truth. We're gonna bounce and pray to God. <laughs> We're gonna bounce and pray to God. We are gonna bounce. How much does a bounce do? At plus one, it kills. It's gonna go for the horn leech. Oh man, so he's not scarfed. That's great information. We just need to land a bounce. We just need to land a bounce. We need to land a bounce so we can kill this thing, get our moxie boost. If we get our moxie boost, this might be GG. He can't bring anything in it. Salamence does not have the Intimidate. This Agron's at 1 HP. Agron's done. Even with the, the grassy terrain. Oh, come on. My heart is pounding right now. Arthur did not see this coming. Okay, he's either... If he's running Adamant, he knows he has to switch out. He knows he has to switch out. He knows. He knows because he's about to lose it. Unless he's running some HP investment, even HP investment. I, I take it out, I take it out. Yeah, I take it out even with HP investment. You would need to be fully defensive. A fully defensive Tapu Bulu, which I've never seen before. Oh man, my, how, my heart is pounding right now, bro. This is my rival. For those that don't know, I'm one and five against Arthur. I only have one win, which is week one from LDL. You guys are all wondering why I have bow tie on right now. And I have a bow tie because it's bow tie Wednesday. Even though, Isaac, it is bow tie Wednesdays on my books. Yo, Arthur is thinking about this decision so oh, long Arthur and hard. Sucks, Dude, Somebody no, he does. he's good, bro. How much does my bounce do to Salamence? It could probably take it out. There's a chance it takes it out. He's gonna withdraw. And we are gonna get Salamence in here. And unless this thing is scarf, yes! Woof, we connect it. It's gonna kill. Oh man, this is great information. Now we get our Moxie boost. That's what I'm talking about. He can bring in the Aggron, but I'm gonna go for the, I'm going for the, no matter what, the waterfall. We know we outspeed. We know we outspeed Tabu Bulu, and we know we outspeed. Okay, so he's wasting the grassy, the grassy terrain. But we did lose thing already. I don't think there's much you can do here, except bounce. Just keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. He has to pay for a miss. We have 85% chance to land this. Oh man, I have I lose hacks all the time to Arthur. I don't want I don't want this game to be hacksy. Land it. Yes, we land the bounce. We land the bounce. This is GG. This is GG, folks. This is GG. You're two-time LDL champion. No, 
He's one time, one time LDO champion just got defeated by the one and only Squid because of a misplay. He should have kept that Salamance in, but no, sir. Squid ain't losing. Yo, I sent this team to Austin. This was Austin's team. Uh, well, it wasn't his team, but this, this tourney was based off his idea. So his idea said, oh, Squid, it's a solid team, but you're not going to be Arthur. When Austin told me that, when I knew I had something to disprove. We're going for Waterfall right here. It is GG, your boy Squid, the Blazing Squid, taking out Arthur round one. I have one purpose in this, in this, this tourney, and that was to defeat Arthur. Arthur, all I gotta say is, there's something I've learned from Pokemon is, when you make the wrong play, RNG makes you play. When you make that wrong play, when you had right in front of you the correct play to make, and you don't make that correct play, RNG will make you pay. And that's why I landed two bounces, which are 85%. 85. He's probably, dude, I don't even know if I should put up this video. I don't even know because he's the salt right now is so real. He hasn't even sent me GG yet. No GG. Uh, it's your boy, the Blazing Squid. Guys, keep rooting for us. Um, we got next up Jesse. We're going to be facing off against Jesse. And a bug type battle. We're going to have that. That video should be up before this video is up. But, you know, if you're a player, hit that subscribe button. If you're a trainer, hit that like button. And if you're one of those haters from the team hashtag, hashtag not squid, hit that dislike button. But with that said, y'all amazing. Stay blazing. Squid out.